Verse 24. Now this may be interpreted allegorically. These women are two covenants. Paul's going to take this feature of the narrative in Genesis, and he's going to describe these two women as two covenants. And he's going to describe one as Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery, and she is Hagar. And we're going to talk about the other other um, covenant here in a moment, but let's let's just camp out on verse 24. The Greek word for allegorically in this verse is the root word allegoreo, as we can probably understand that's where we get our Greek word allegory into English, right? The Greek word is just really a transliteration into English. Shaul now reveals the core truth of his midrash, right? The part that he really wants both the Galatian Gentiles as well as the influencers who are probably listening to the letter being read. He really wants both of them to listen up. This is the core truth of what he's trying to reveal to both of them. The core truth is that is is by explaining that he's referring to two opposing covenants. They are not even two covenants that are really in agreement with one another. They actually oppose one another at a core level. And this is illustrated using the unnamed Sarah and the named Hagar. Did you notice that? He only actually names Hagar by name. He only mentions her in the passage. He doesn't actually name Sarah, even though he know, we know it's Sarah because he says these two women. One of the women gave birth to Ishmael. One of the women gave birth to Isaac. And it's obvious which one is which. He doesn't have to go back and give them a history lesson. As such, we shouldn't have to go back as well. Paul also wants his readers, I go on to say in my commentary, to understand that to expect right standing with Hashem, that is uh, salvation or covenant membership or righteousness, whatever you want to fill in the blank there for right standing. He wants his readers to understand that to expect right standing with Hashem according to the flesh, that is according to Jewish social status, is to be identified with a covenant of slavery, the covenant with Hagar and her offspring. So that's the first of the two covenants that he's trying to put on one side of this coin. He's got Hagar, which is slavery, and Ishmael. He's got that on one side of this equation. Thank you.